right now we could be looking at potentially the next very large collapse that could be in for Bitcoin very, very soon in this market. So I want to break down for you exactly why I'm seeing that. And this all starts with the fact that Bitcoin saw a big drop to the downside, which I was talking about on my last live stream, giving you guys a lot of updates right as it was happening. If you like that and you want to see more of it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Bitcoin managed to then climb back up to some of the key resistance areas that I've been outlining. And this is the key thing that I think is going to be a problem for Bitcoin. You know, a lot of people are going to see this chart and think that Bitcoin is uh, bumping, bouncing up from here up to this level right now, but that's not what we're in. What's actually happened, if you look at the chart properly, is that the market dropped all the way down to $42,000 first and is now up at 49,000, which means that we haven't had a bounce which, me which measures up by just $3,000. We've seen a much bigger bounce, which is actually a $7,000 bounce. And the reason that I'm making this clear to you is that a $3,000 bounce, or in this case, if we measure it with percentages, a six to 8% bounce is not as severe as a 16% bounce. Guys, if we're in a market which is getting huge sell-offs like this, you need to expect big corrections to the upside. It's just going to happen. This is a very extreme movement happening to the downside, so you're naturally going to rubber band up to the upside and then potentially move down again and then potentially move up. And before you know it, you've formed a classic bear flag, for example, which is something that I think this market could be in at the moment. And I'm going to talk about that all in just a minute. But the key thing that I want to draw to your attention again is that we're up by 16% from these lows and the existing trend is bearish. Now, obviously, I think there's some really good signs to believe that the market has bottomed out. So I don't think that we're necessarily going to be dropping lower than this. And it's actually coming as no coincidence that we bottomed out where we did. If you look at this green box that I've had drawn on this chart from way back, this is the same level that I was anticipating could be a support level for Bitcoin. And you're going to know very well that this orange line has been extremely important for Bitcoin for quite a long time. Now, if you just go back and look at any of my recent videos, you're going to see the same box on the same chart. So I already had this stuff drawn out from the past. And again, those of you who were watching this YouTube channel, you're going to remember very, very clearly that before this dump even happened, I was telling you guys that if we fail the 53k support level, we are going to have to fall down to another major area of support. But there's no major area of support right here. So we're going to have to come back down to this next one, which I identified as being at the 40k level. And we topped out right at the top of it. So some amazing, amazing precision with the analysis right there, which I am super, super happy about. And again, the reason that this stuff is important is if you're getting blindsided by this and these big dumps are happening, and obviously, look, I didn't even expect the dump to happen that quickly. But if this kind of stuff is really surprising you, catching you like a deer in headlights, you're not going to know what to do afterwards. You're going to spend so much time being dazed and confused that the next opportunity is going to come and fly right by you and you're not even going to have a chance to grab it. I've already set up a trade for what I think is going to happen next inside of Four Flies VIP so they know all about what's going on there. But the key thing to mention for now on this chart is that we did end up falling to this key level of support right here. And again, off that low, we're now in a big bounce inside of an existing downtrend. Now, the key problem that I'm seeing with this downtrend right now is that we previously had some really nice areas of support, which Bitcoin has failed, right? And that puts Bitcoin right now in a very, very difficult position. If it wants to rise back up, it's going to have to break resistance levels. It's facing resistance right now at $49,000, which is a level that I already had drawn out on the chart as well. Uh, and it's got more resistance up at about 50 51,000 and a lot of resistance at about 53. And so it's going to be difficult for Bitcoin to climb back up to these levels. But even if it does, the thing I want you guys to keep in mind is that this level right here, this line has acted as support for Bitcoin historically for quite a while now, stretching all the way back to July and as recently as November. I mean, that's a long time for one support level to hold, in my opinion. And to me, that means that Bitcoin could be looking at finding resistance, even if it pushes above all of these levels and starts attacking these areas. And that's one of the key points that I want to start this video off with. Bitcoin has resistance up ahead and it's in a 16% correction to the upside. That is absolutely huge. What I'm saying right now is that Bitcoin has resistance at the upper bands of these levels and it's already rallied up by 16%. Realistically, how much can an asset which has just been fat fingered sell off, uh, which has just seen a fat finger sell off 
has seen a lot of panic, has demonstrated that it's not liquid. What else can a market like this do at a time like this when it already has had a big run up? It's already recovered a lot of what that daily candle lost in its trading. Look at this. The candle traded uh, opened at $54,000. It traded all the way down at $42,000, which was a 20% loss. And now we're only down by 7%, right? We've recovered so much of what we lost just in that first day. And we're at resistance levels right now inside of, a, inside of an existing downtrend, right? To me, this is painting a really clear and extremely concerning picture for Bitcoin showing us that we could have resistance at these kind of levels right here. So one of the key things I want to do right now is show you where some of the key support on this chart, I'm sorry, where some of the key resistance on this chart is. And if you take a look at the hourly time frame, which at times like this can actually be very dependable, very reliable, uh, well, then we've got some resistance potentially lurking around right here, where we're trading at at the moment, potentially indicating that Bitcoin could be getting ready to drop down again very, very soon. There is more resistance up ahead, but it's very far away. The four hour Ichimoku cloud is at these same price levels that we're trading around right now, but we're not going to see it for another four days so it's not super concerning yet if however bitcoin now dips and then trades upwards again and sets a new higher high and then sets a higher low and so on we're going to be forming the classic rising wedge pattern and that would take us right into this potential uh bull trap which can send us down again so it's just to show you that because the trend was bearish we have a lot of resistance up ahead and we don't just have it from my basic horizontal support and resistance lines which are so so reliable guys there is a reason that i keep my analysis so simple and it is because this stuff just works there's no use in trying to reinvent the wheel and do something new which has already been done before very very well and that's why you see that these videos are generally pretty easy to keep up with i'm not saying anything super crazy i'm just telling you what i'm seeing with simple analysis uh, and it really is that there is resistance up ahead there is also the moving average resistance, which is going to catch up to Bitcoin a little bit faster, but we're still seeing that resistance quite high, basically showing us that we have a lot of room to pump up and still be bearish because we're in that bearish trend and we've dropped below so many support levels. So there's a lot of key things that this market needs to do now to prove to the bulls that it is actually bullish. Uh, and, and guys, this stuff is super important because if you weren't able to see any of this coming from you know previously where on this youtube channel i started pointing out to you guys that actually this trend looks really good over here but we're failing to set really seriously higher all-time highs each time we challenge these levels and that to me is a sign of weakness guys if you weren't able to internalize those kind of ideas if you want to one of the people rejecting them and pushing the, them away times like this in this market are going to get you really really screwed up you're not going to be able to think straight you're going to be very confused and you need to make sure that's not you now, obviously we were aware of these possibilities in these markets and judging them as probabilities not as surefire signs because that's what normal and healthy analysts and traders do but if you weren't watching the channel during that time, if you weren't already subscribed, if you weren't already engaging with these videos, hitting the like button, dropping these comments, you're not going to be showing the algorithm that you want to see videos like this and you're just not going to get them. So if you want to see more videos like this from my channel and others, do me a favor and show this video a little bit of love. It's going to be amazing for both of us. Uh, and the reason that this stuff I think is so important now is we're at one of those crucial times at the moment, again, where I think a lot of people will start feeling potentially a little bit of relief seeing that Bitcoin dropped so low and it's now bounced back up. And I'm already hearing talk of how this is similar to March 2020 last year, uh, which I actually agree with, where the market got a really, really big dump to the downside. And this one was way worse than what we saw just yesterday, but still a pretty damn bad crash what we saw yesterday. This was a minus 50% drop in the space of two days. Uh, but then the market actually recovered a lot of it really quickly. And, you know, by the end of the next day, the market was only down by 25% as opposed to being down by 50%. And in this case, it actually stuck and the market just kept trading up, which definitely took me by surprise because you guys remember I was very, very bearish over here. So I completely got this wrong, but fortunately didn't lose any money on that. So that's completely fine. It's one thing to get the analysis wrong. It's another thing to have that reflect in your bank account. And, and trust me, what happens at the end of the day with your wealth is much more important than your pride, uh, especially as a trader. And so 
what uh, what I think is important about this when I bring this up to you, how this looks like March 2020, is that this market saw a really big dump and managed to recover it really quickly. And sometimes this can work out well and we can just form a staircase to heaven and launch off into a crazy bull market. But most of the time, that is not how this works. Most of the time when we see something like this, this tells us that people wanted to get the fuck out of the market and they could not because there is no buying pressure. Now, this is something I speak about on the YouTube channel a lot and people hate it, but they only hate it because when you when you really listen to what I'm saying, nobody can give me a valid counter argument to this, which is one of the longest standing theories I've had on this YouTube channel is that this market in these kind of conditions, which we've been in all the way since roughly around over here, right? Everything from here and onwards, we've been in this state is dangerous. And it is why we get such catastrophic moves to the downside like this. What is it? Well, the key idea that I've been talking about for a long time that I get so much hate for is that these markets cannot sustain upwards price action right? The only reason that we're moving up in markets like this, or one of the only, one of the main reasons that we're moving up in markets like this is because nobody is selling. And yeah, in itself, that's a good thing, right? If nobody wants to sell, but people want to buy, the prices are going to move up. But as soon as those people want to sell, they have nobody that's going to buy their Bitcoins. That's what we have in these markets right here. When it comes time to sell, when it comes time to panic or be afraid or feel some feel and a fear and uncertainty and doubt in these markets, when those times approach, there's nobody there to back up the buying power because there was no real buying power in the first place, right? There was a little bit of initial buying power and it was definitely enough to keep the market trending up during times like this because nobody is selling. But as soon as you really get people who actually, because a lot of people are bought the fucking Bitcoins now, what are they going to do with it, right? Some of them are going to want to sell it. There is not going to be enough people to support that selling pressure. And that triggers the big waterfall sell-offs. That triggers stop losses being hit on positions. If you're in an open position on Bitcoin, the only way you can close any position in any asset is to sell it. And so you've got to sell your Bitcoin to close those positions. And that's going to drop the market even lower because you're selling into buy orders, which don't exist. So the price has to keep on dropping lower. And the important thing to understand is that this puts these markets in such fragile psychological states, right? I don't care what you think about Bitcoin. I've said this to everybody in person that I've spoken about Bitcoin with as well. You know, I love Bitcoin. I love using it as a currency. I love the fact that it's philosophically very sound and it's backed by math and everything. And that's really cool. But that doesn't matter at all all with the price action because at the end of the day most people are only buying bitcoin to make money and as soon as these reasons get removed and we see crashes like this people get scared people revert back to their original uh you know very primitive line of thinking where their psychology is just fucking runs them over and ruins them in their head. Uh, and one of the things that leads to is people being very predictable, which is why if you've been around in these markets for a while, like I have, and you've been through the shit and you've been part of the shit, like I definitely have, uh, you will know what to expect. It's fairly obvious. And so it becomes pretty easy to do my job at this point. Uh, you know, what I'm seeing here is that coming off this 16% rally, even though things are very tense, there is going to be an element of relief in the air as we approach these next peaks, which I think could be taking Bitcoin down. The key thing that I want you guys to remember about this chart that I've had drawn right here for a very long time is that Bitcoin has a lot of resistance at $53,000 and we're not even there yet right? Bitcoin is only at 49,000 and it's already struggling. Now, if we zoom in and we look at this closely, it's actually not doing too bad. And I think that it's in a little bit of an ascending triangle that looks like this. And I think it's going to blow up. An ascending triangle is where you're forming lows that are gradually getting higher, but the highs are staying capped at one ceiling, which basically means there's a lot of pressure brewing over here. And it eventually usually explodes to the upside. 66% of the time, it moves to the upside and it moves quite massively, probably by about the length of this arrow right here. And this is very unscientific, but if I put this right here, that can give us a speculative target of $50,500. Very unscientific, but 
you get the point. Uh, the key thing to keep in mind though is that this can give us a nice little pump to the upside, but the higher we go, the hotter it gets, right? This is almost like you're descending deeper into the fiery pits of, hells, uh, of, of hell. And so the deeper you go, the harder it's going to get for Bitcoin to keep those price levels, in my opinion, because there is so much resistance here. And that key level is still $53,000. And the reason that I'm seeing this as the key level of resistance is that this is precisely where Bitcoin found a huge rejection within its previous leg up. We've had two main legs up since the big correction uh, from earlier this year. We had the one up over here and the second leg up over here. And now we're in two big corrections. And the problem here is that we found a little bit of support here recently on the day before we dumped and the days before that as well <coughs> pardon me i'm sorry i'm in the uk and it's like 10 degrees compared to the it's actually less than 10 degrees compared to the bay which is probably at like 25 right now i'm super jealous i'm going back i can't stand it here but uh, um but the key thing to keep in mind right now is that that 53k level was very strong it was used as support it was i'm sorry it was used as resistance over here it was used as support recently uh and then just back previously in this trend as well we had important moves coming off this level which you can see a little bit clearer if i zoom in but i'm not going to do that because you guys already know about that most of you have already been watching this channel and so that's why i think that the 53k level is so so important for this trend right now and if we manage to rise back up there, I mean, we're going to need a lot of firepower to get above this level. And I just don't think that we have that. If we do have that kind of firepower, then like I said, there is more resistance up ahead. It doesn't get better for Bitcoin. We can clear 53, but then there's 56. We can clear 56, but then there's 60, which was previously the biggest area of resistance that I was saying Bitcoin is facing. That's not the case anymore because 53,000 is even stronger in my opinion. And so, you know, we've already got a lot of resistance up ahead, even if we break the big one in front of us. And then, you know, there's 64 and then there's the previous, like we're, we're just, we're back to where we were on this leg up over here it's just that this time we have more resistance because we have more recent price action although on the flip side we also have more support moving down because we had this drawdown so it works on both sides this is me showing you that i'm not a permanent bear i'm just a realist and real life markets are not as beautiful as you fantasize them being in your head it just doesn't work that way if you go out into nature you're not going to see perfect shapes if you go to like a, a fruit stall in brazil and you're trying to pick up an apple or a mango it's not going to be the perfect round shiny red apple that you get in your tesco or walmart supermarket in the west right that's not what real life looks like that's what we think it looks like real life is a lot more rough it's discolored it's 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 not as perfect as you think it is in your head. And I think a lot of people lose uh, sight of that, you know, and that's why, uh, you know, I, I try to bring both perspectives in this YouTube channel because, yeah, things are bad when they're bad in terms of resistance up ahead, but things are really fucking good when they're good as well. Like the support area right here, which we knew about well, well in advance, meaning that Bitcoin was able to get a big bounce off this level. You know, I think it's going to take a lot for Bitcoin to sweep this low. And if we did, we're probably dropping really low down to $30,000 because that's the next big area of support. The only one in between that is at about 38, which is, an, which is also a potential bounce zone for Bitcoin. But I think that if we sweep this low, we would have to go down to the next serious one, which would be at 30. But just putting it on your radar. Uh, but right now, what I'm seeing is that Bitcoin might want to be in a little bit of a reaction action rally and that can take bitcoin higher up into this range but it's just going to be facing so much of a challenge now the, the other thing which is extremely important that i want to make you guys aware of in this range is that it's a big range with not much trading so this is the kind of time where you should expect a lot of volatility now if you're not already in the four flies vip group and you're not already seeing how I plan on ma navigating this market at a time of high volatility, you're going to be missing out on a lot of important stuff. I've already planned the trade and I've shared all the details of it inside of VIP and I'm planning many more across other markets in, in the cryptocurrency space right now. And all of those details are only sent into Forflies VIP. There's only one way to join 
any other method you use is going to have imposters and impersonators and things like that. So just follow these steps on screen by clicking on the first link in the description down below, then on the at four flies button at the bottom of any post inside of four flies gold, and then send message to ask me how to join four flies VIP. And I will get you all of that information within five minutes and you can get inside you can watch me training you can get access to our four flies academy course for free most members who join get that for free um, where you can learn everything i know about trading from a to z uh inside of that course which i made all by myself there's no other uh you know presenters or anything as well so you're just hearing it from me it's so so useful in a market like this uh, and of course you also need somewhere reliable to trade I'm doing all of that on Bybit. This is the only exchange that I've used for a long time and I've been partnered with them for years. Absolutely love using that platform and you can check them out with the link in the description down below because you're gonna get up to, uh, I, I don't know if it's still three and a half thousand, that offer might have ended now, but you're definitely gonna be getting some free cash depending on how much you deposit when you make your first deposit on Bybit. So definitely check this out. If you like free money and you wanna trade on the same exchange that I'm using, uh, it only takes you about a minute to sign up and the link is down below but just bringing us back to the chart here one of the biggest things that i want you guys to be very very well aware of is that between probably that crucial 53k level and the crucial 40k level right here there is not much trading that happens for bitcoin usually we zip up and we zip down with a few exceptions like right here uh usually we're just going all the way up and all the way down and all the way up and we're doing it in more or less a straight line right in this case we move down and we zigged up then we zag down and so on and so you know it's not quite an exact perfect line but more or less it's moving up in a straight line it's not like this price action that happens right here it's more like this price action that happens right here it's very straightforward price action which means that you see a lot of volatility in areas like this. If you're right, you are very right and you're going to make a lot of money. But if you're wrong, you're very wrong and you're going to lose a lot of money really, really quickly in a range like this. You really need to be able to understand the characteristics of Bitcoin to be trading it at a time like this. But if you can, you're going to have such a huge advantage over everybody else. Yes, it's difficult to get there in the first place. But as soon as you have it, understand that nobody else does so you have a really big advantage on other traders in the market right now and i really i want to i want to make you guys aware that right now is when the sun is shining in this space right there are times where we have crypto winters and they're absolutely terrible and this is not one of them this is one of those times where if you know what you're doing and you're being careful and you're exercising the right risk management and you're following the right principles and you're not gambling and you're not over trading and you're not over analyzing and you're doing what you know you should be doing you have a great chance at making a lot of money in probably the easiest state of this market that we're going to be in for the next two years. So please keep that in mind right now as we look at this opportunity. It needs to be taken very seriously, in my opinion, when we put it in that perspective. And I'm only telling you this stuff now because six months from now, when we might be in a different position or one year from now, when we might be in a different position, this is the kind of state of the market that people like me the sharks, the people who've been in these markets, who've been destroyed and then rebuilt as good traders. This is the time that people like me love and pray for because there's so much money that can be made right here. Uh, and I want you guys to be in that position as well. You know, you shouldn't be looking at a chart like this and, and feel scared. I look at a chart like this and I see massive opportunity. I see an opportunity to, you know, even if I think Bitcoin's going to drop to make more Bitcoin so that when Bitcoin eventually breaks the all time high, because I think that is still going to happen, I'm going to be much, much more rich then than I am now. And obviously that's the goal. So that's what I want to make you aware of is that if we do find resistance in these kind of ranges, the price can drop really far really quickly uh you know i think that uh, you know a good support level might be around the mid forty thousand dollar range uh you know perhaps around 45 we saw a big reversal coming off this level right here uh we also saw a little bit of support right here which is at the same price level around the forty five thousand dollar region and so these are some of the areas that i want you guys to keep an eye out for in this market as we continue to move forward it would be great to see some support established in this range as well we're now in a brand new range a lot of people are going to be feeling quite uncomfortable of course that does 
does mean that we're in a really, really fruitful uh, phase of this market where a lot of money can, make, can be made in quite a short space of time. So to me, it's a huge, huge opportunity. I'm seeing crazy stuff happening in the altcoin market right now. So many things that I want to do uh, and I'm filling them all and filling VIPs all in um, on exactly what those plans are right there as well definitely such a you know a very pivotal time in this market in my opinion so uh there you go a small move in the market and there's a lot that you can read from it uh, and if you did find this video useful to reframe your perspective and, and put you thinking about these things in the right way uh, then please do me a favor show this video some love smash up the likes subscribe tick the bell do all of that good stuff if you want more free analysis from me and my team Click on the first link in the description down below and you're going to be inside of Four Flies Gold where I'm giving you even more analysis on these markets daily. So definitely check that out. That's going straight to your phone. You only have to click on the first link in the description down below. And again, guys, just want to make this super clear. If you search up Four Flies and stuff like that in Telegram, you're only going to be talking to impersonators. A lot of people have been scammed, have their Bitcoin stolen and stuff like that. Don't let that be you. It is a vicious market. Uh, it is a vicious industry even crypto because uh, everyone's got anonymity if they want it and so uh, you can do a lot of really crazy shit uh, and a lot of people have fallen victim to that stuff unfortunately so please do keep that in mind uh, but with that ladies and gents i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye